Hey everybody, I want to talk to you about activity 3.1.6. This is open and closed loop systems. And this is for my principles of engineering class. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about, it's kind of part two. They don't label it as part two, but that's what it is. And we are going to do what is written in the top right corner of your screen. We're going to oscillate the motor each way 20 times. One direction is going to use the limit switch. And the opposite direction is going to use just a 0.5 seconds time limit. So I have some of it already set up for you on your left side of your screen, and I have commented a lot as well so that we both know where everything's going to go and why we're doing it. First thing is we have task main up top. We have in line 35, we have the squiggly bracket starting our task main section. Below that, we are starting a closed variable. So the variable is just called closed. Uh, I did that because this is the closed loop system. And we are also setting it to zero at the same time. So I am initiating closed and I'm setting it equal to zero. Then this one is just for me. This doesn't actually say to do it, uh, but this will help me to choreograph the video a little better until bump. So until we touch the bump switch. So that is just so I can hit the start button and then I still actually have to come up and physically hit the bump switch to make anything happen. Then we have a loop, not a infinite loop here. We want it. So as long as our variable, I call it closed is less than 20 because as it says in the top right corner of your screen, we only want to do this 20 times. So this loop repeats as long as closed is less than 20. Once it hits that, we kick out of this loop and we read down here and that's, that's it. It's done. All right. So first thing we need to do is start a motor or have, sorry, motor turns until the bump switch is touched. So we have to start our motor. So I need to start motor uh, we are using the left motor yep uh, yeah no right motor I'm in port 2 on this one so we are using a right motor and I wish I could spell a little bit more consistently and let's do 63.5 that's half speed for our motor then we are going to wait until the limit switch or until touch and that is limit switch and when that happens we want to stop motor and it is our right motor and I'm going to fix formatting so it kind of shoves everything to the right place awesome now I'm going to go down here and I need to do this one this is going to be separate from this so now we have our motor turn for 0.5 seconds. So I need to start motor. It's going to be the same motor, but I'm going to have it spin the other direction. So it's going to be a negative 63.5. Then our next line, I need to wait 0.5 seconds. So I'll wait 0.5. Didn't get my zero there, but it's there. Then we have to stop the motor. So we want to stop motor. Um, when we reach the limit switch, we do not want that. We just want to stop motor after 0 0.5 seconds. And let's fix our formatting again. So this is the end. So our motor is done turning for its fixed time. I don't know why I've got so many extra things in here. Uh, I've typed this in years past too, so sometimes I do things a little bit differently. And, and you notice at the end, I do something a little different. Usually we would put closed equal closed plus one, but in this one, I'm modifying it a little bit. I'm just saying closed plus plus, and that does the exact same thing as increasing it by one. And now we have the end loop, and we have end of task main. Let's compile it. Oh, error. I didn't tell what motor to stop. And it's right motor and semicolon now let's compile errors go away download it to the robot and i will put up the global variables and you should be able to watch global variables start ticking up i stopped it last time at 10 that's why we're stuck at 10 right now so i'm going to start this program you'll notice it got set to zero once i push the bump switch we will just oscillate back and forth on uh, this gear here you should see this small piece here move back and forth and uh, should be good to go. I'm probably gonna reduce the volume during this just so you, it's not quite as loud, but here we go. Let's start the button. Yep, 
you can see that the close is ticking up one by one as we go through all of this until we hit 20. Well, that's 20 and now it's over and it's all stopped. I can always do this again just by hitting that start button and it'll go through the same cycle. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, click that like button below. And if you subscribe to the channel, you can always see more of these great videos. If you click the box that's, uh, that's down here, you can click that bell and you can turn it on so that you get notifications when I upload new videos. Over, where's it gonna be? Over here, I'm gonna put a button so you can subscribe and I hope you have a great day, everybody.